you went down the basement when you got there just to mm -hmm. check it out? I did. And did you look at the bucket? I did. Okay. Uh, when you got down there, uh, were you in the PPE gear? The very first time I got there was not. Um, there's the uniformed officers there that weren't in it. There was some question about whether the body was there and why it had not been found yet. Um, it's a question about how well we looked for it. Um, so we did do a quick look through and they came back up. Okay. Yes, without it. When you, Detective Scanlon, when you went down the stairs, did you see a towel over the bucket? By the time I got there, it was already removed and off the side. Laying on the, on the floor? Yes. <clears throat> you looked in the bucket, obviously? I did. Okay. Um, did you move the contents of the bucket? No. Okay. Um, there were other items in the bucket later on that you found out about, correct? There were. What other items were in the bucket? There was remains, uh, two different specific types of remains that I, that I observed. What kind? Um, there was a human head. Uh, there was genitalia in the bucket. Let me stop you there. What do you mean genitalia? Uh, what I would recognize as a penis and testicles. And were they laying underneath the head? They were visible after the head was removed, yes. What else did you see? Uh, I observed a black uh, Miracle 3 kitchen blade knife that was removed, a kitchen knife. Uh, I observed a yellow uh, pocket knife, I guess for best description, with a, a pocket knife with a yellow handle. Um, there was like a head of a razor, like a shaving razor blade, a nail, a Jolly Rancher, and there was a flesh material that the doctor just described as a flesh material. Blood in the bucket as well? There was blood in the bucket, yes. This is all in that black bucket, correct? The black flea farm bucket, yes, container one. What did you do next then after uh, you fully investigated the contents of the bucket? So we, we referred to four containers in the home, and as just a matter of staying organized with the recovery, we went from left to right when looking at the basement. So we, we moved to container two, uh, which was the Blue Jimmy Choo bag. And then Dr. Trenkaita set it down on a blanket, sterile blanket that he had brought, and then he started to remove the contents of it in front of us to observe. Fair to say that all of you were going through this together as far as looking around and investigating certain things? Yes, we're all together at this time, yes. And in the meantime, was um, Taylor Shabizis over at the police department with Detective Groff and Detective Kemp? She was. And were you communicating with either, were you communicating with Detective uh, Kemp by phone? I, I don't remember which one I spoke to. I was I was getting phone contact from um, one of the two of them. So information was going back between officers, correct? Yes. And the focus of your investigation was the basement of Stony Brook. Is that fair? The basement, and then you know, as we found the knives, I went upstairs and tried to identify whether or not those knives had come from the kitchen. Um, so I did travel back upstairs to take a look at the knife block, and then I looked in the drawers to see if they had similar knives to the Miracle, the black, pit, the black handle knife in the bucket. So I did, I did go upstairs to look at that. Okay. How at many? Some point. How, there were two knives in the bucket. There, yeah, there was two knives in the bucket: the black handled kitchen knife. So I think it was a Miracle Blade three was the stamp, and then there was a yellow, um, like a pocket knife, the yellow handle pocket knife. And when you went upstairs, you didn't see any other yellow-handled pocket knives, correct? No, I've, I've seen other milk or blade three knives. There was one on the butter dish, and there was similar knife to that in the drawer. Um, but I did not, I don't know the, I don't know the source or where the yellow knife was from. And while all this was going on, uh, the um, forensic specialists, Andre, and Sharneski were taking pictures, correct? Yes. Did you find uh, any evidence of drug use down in that basement? I did. 
What did you find down there? Um, there was a methamphetamine pipe, or what I recognized to be a, a methamphetamine pipe, on the entertainment center, and there was a green gem baggie uh, with a crystal substance that I later checked out more thoroughly. The uh, the meth pipe that you observed, where was it? It was on the entertainment center, kind of a makeshift dresser to the left of the bed. And did you find uh, drugs? Uh, there was what I believe to be drugs, yes, next to it in the gem baggie. Okay. When you say gem baggie, is that a plastic bag? Yeah, a little small, little like a one inch or an inch and a half green baggie. Do you know what, what was in the gem baggie? Um, I later field tested it for methamphetamine. I believe it was crystal methamphetamine. And where was that? That was to the right of the meth pipe. Did you find any marijuana? I did not know. Did you find any packaging for marijuana? I did not know. Could I approach your honor? You may. This moment I'll show you this mark as exhibits uh, 70, 71, 72. Um, exhibit 70. Do you uh, recognize that? I do. What is it? That's the entertainment center that uh, picture depicts the methamphetamine pipe next to it's the green gem bag I referred to and some other items with some with some placards that our friends and specialists put down to photograph. Is there any packaging from a company called Loom in Iron Mountain in that picture? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Is there any uh, packaging from a company called Loom, L-U-M-E? In that photo? I don't I don't see it. Okay. This picture exhibit seventy, uh, does it depict that entertainment center in the basement of Stony Brook Lane? Yes. Was that picture taken on or about February twenty third of twenty twenty two? It was. Okay. Exhibit seventy one, could you identify that? That it just appears to be the same area, but a close-up of the green gem bag and the watch in front of it. That gem bag later turned out to be methamphetamine, correct? I believe so, yes. Did some of it spill out on the entertainment center? Looking at this close-up photo, there is um, there are white specks on the entertainment center. I don't, I don't know if that's that. I didn't. I didn't use it. I didn't use a narcotic wipe to see that. No, I don't know. Okay. Does that picture show that entertainment center and contents on that uh, item from Stony Brook Lane on February 23rd? Yes. Okay. Could you turn your attention to Exhibit 72? Um, can you identify what that is? It's uh, the same area. It's a close-up of the gem bag. Is that the gem bag that was on top of the entertainment center on Stony Brook Lane in the basement? It appears to be yes. You had a good, you had a chance to take a good look at that, yeah. correct? Yes. Okay. I'll offer Exhibit 70, 71, 72. Any objection? No. Those be received. Um, when you did your search of the basement, did you find anybody else in the basement? Other than, the remains, other than the remains of Mr. Theory, no. Okay. Did you canvass the area and make contact with neighbors? I did. Why did you do that? I had some time um, while waiting for the doctor to arrive, waiting for the warrant to get done. Um, so rather than stand there, I decided to, to do a standard neighborhood canvas to talk to some neighbors to see if any of the neighbors were up last night or had observed anything that they would be relevant to the investigation. Did you get any information that was relevant? I did. What? I did. You did. What did you get? I talked to some neighbors across the street um, who told me things that they had seen. Um, I documented their information and went to the next house. 